Hi, this is Kevin. My family and I own a craft barbecue joint in Canton, Georgia. We do barbecue our way while paying homage to our past generations. We look forward to sharing our recipes, stories, tips, and tricks from our journey. Together, we are 441 South. And this is Barbecue the Hard Way. Are we ready? We're ready? Hey, sorry, my production crew is running around in um, Highland Cow Slippers this morning, getting it done. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey, welcome to 441 South, Barbecue the Hard Way. You may be like, what's so hard about it? You know, it's not that it's that hard, it's just that I think we take the Take the road that uh, less traveled. Everything from scratch, everything from our rubs to our sauces. And we're gonna teach you a little bit about what we do in our restaurant. We're gonna go through our specials, go through what we do day in and day out, and um, teach you the tips and tricks that we do every day to put out the best food we know how. So today, we're gonna do jerk chicken wings it is we've done it for a few weeks now in the restaurant and it has become a crowd favorite and uh, i can't wait to share with you what it takes to do that so uh, let's go so with the jerk chicken wings i'm going to make a uh, paste to go on it like a marinade they're going to marinate for four to six to twelve hours whatever you want to do so scott's bonnets are a huge part of the jerk chicken flavor and so i couldn't find any fresh ones so what i got is dried scotch bonnets i'm going to steep them in some water to get this started so i'll put them in some get some hot water going here put them in there cover them for about 10 minutes or so and get them softened up while i'm doing that i'm going to put the rest of the marinade together So while that comes to a boil, I'm gonna quarter up an onion to go in the blender. Just give them like a rough chop so they'll blend up quicker. So we'll put the onions in there. They're going everywhere. Kind of like me right now. Some garlic cloves. So I have some habaneros to throw in there too. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them up, leave the seeds in them. Yeah, we want it to be a little spicy. I'll probably do four of these. And always make sure you wash your hands after touching those because you don't want to touch your eyes. All right, so we're going to need the juice of two limes. So our, uh, our peppers are boiling, so I'm gonna cover them and turn them off and let them sit there and steep for just a minute. So now that we've got our onions, peppers, lime juice, 
critical part of jerk seasoning is the allspice. So you can buy ground allspice, but I prefer buying the whole toast it up, you get way more flavor out of it and grind it. It's fresh, it's amazing, it smells amazing. So we're gonna go in with that. And don't forget the recipe is gonna be below. And I got toasted Szechuan peppercorns, same thing. Toast them, ground them in house. Black pepper, same thing, started with peppercorns. Another critical part is some brown sugar. You wanna cut down some of that acidity and spice in there and get a little brown sugar in there, some sweetness. I've got a little bit of ground cumin, some thyme, and this soy sauce for an added flavor and some seasoning. So, I've got everything put in here. Got everything ready. I got my uh, scotch bonnets that I steeped a little bit, softened them up. I'm dumping those in. And let's get this blended up and get it on our chicken. So we're back. We have blended up all our stuff. We're gonna open it up. <coughs> yeah, it's right. I promise you, it is right. So now we're gonna get our chicken wings, get them marinated up, get them in the fridge, and we're gonna go get the grill started. So, magic of TV, we got our chicken wings. I need to move this out of the way. We got our marinade. I'm gonna put some gloves on because you don't want to mess with that stuff without gloves on or chickens without gloves. Maybe like, hey Kev, you didn't put any salt in that marinade. Well, I put soy sauce in there and it's low sodium. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the salt at the end. I'm gonna cook them and then I'll, I'll dust them with salt to finish them off. A little, a little finishing dust, you may say. Yep, look at me just making a mess. All right, so we got our marinade in there. We're gonna get these chickens all marinated up. These wings, I prefer the jumbo wings, jumbo splits, they come already cut. You can get them whole if you'd like. You can do this on a whole chicken. Cut it down or do a uh, spatchcock chicken. Use the same marinade. You can do this marinade on pork. Same way. All right, so we've got our chicken wings marinated up. We're gonna let these go in the fridge for about four hours. We're gonna get our big green egg set up for indirect cooking at 300 degrees. A little cherry wood and uh, can't wait to show y'all how it's done. So uh, let's get these in there and we'll go get the grill started. It's on. Are we on? Are we live? Hey everybody, so we're out here. We got the chicken marinating. We got the wings marinating, sorry. We're out here, we're getting the egg fired up. Y'all don't mind my dirty grates. I know y'all are gonna, somebody, somebody in the comments that's sitting in their mom's basement is gonna comment on on my dirty grates, but I promise you they're clean. They're just used a lot. And yes, I know that I have the KJ divide and conquer system in my big green egg, the blasphemy I know, trust me. But you would thank me later if you had it because it works great. So we're gonna light the, we're lighting the egg up. Get these coals going. So, little tricks that I've learned over time. Get your bottom vent open. If you're doing like a higher heat like we're doing today, light it in the middle. Let it burn around all, all different directions. If you're doing a, a low and slow type cook where you're wanting it to go overnight or long hours, light it right above the vent and let it burn front to back. You'll get a lot longer burn time on it. It's amazing, it works great. Um, I've cooked on a big green egg for, this is this egg right here is close to 20 years old. So yeah, so it's been around for a while and uh, still going strong and uh, we're rocking and rolling. We're gonna get this thing lit up, get some cherry wood in it, get it up to temp, put our heat diverters in there, put our grates back on there and get these wings on and we'll be back. 
Okay, so it's been like 10 minutes and we've got our charcoal glowing red down in here. I'm gonna put my uh, cherry wood chunks down in there and we're gonna get this thing set up and get ready to put these wings on. Won't be too much longer. Sometimes you just have to force it down in there. Make all kinds of noises on camera. It's one thing I do like about the Kamado Joe. It's two halves, it's not a whole, so when you break it, you only break it half, usually. Usually. All right, I'm gonna leave all the vents open. I'm gonna close this down. I'm gonna give it about another 10, 15 minutes, get it up to 300 degrees, indirect, and then we're gonna throw those wings on. Are we ready? We ready? We ready? All right, guys, so we got the grill lit up. We got everything ready to go. We got our chicken wings been marinating for about five hours or so, and uh, they smell amazing. Um, this is gonna have a nice, nice heat to it. The Szechuan peppercorns are gonna have that numminess in your mouth to it. They're gonna be amazing. So let's get these out of the marinade. Let's get them on the sheet tray so we can get them out there and put them on the grill. I have, uh, as I stated before, I feel like a doctor. Giving out them chicken exams. Nah. Um, as I stated before, we got, we're cooking on the big green egg today. We're gonna have it at 300 degrees indirect. Um, one of the things I like to do with chicken wings is I don't, in the restaurant, we don't smoke them and then fry them. A lot of people do that. There's nothing wrong with it. Super crispy skin, all that. I get it, blah, 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 whatever. We use smokers. There's a bar, we're a barbecue restaurant for a reason. We use smokers. So we're gonna smoke these wings and we're gonna take them to about an internal temp of about 203 to 205. We go more off of look as the fat is rendered out of the skin and all, they're gonna be amazing. I can't wait for y'all to see how awesome these look. And you may not ever want fried chicken wings again. Um, the smell on these, golly, smells so good. This is kind of awkward. You're watching me handle my chicken. And, uh, so like I said, this, this channel is going to be for us just showcasing what we do day in and day out. People are always raving about our wings, raving about our uh, other specials. I was going to tell you what I was doing next, but I won't. I'll let it be a surprise. Um, so we still got some more of this, this paste. I'm just going to drizzle it back on there. God. All right. So yeah, this channel, we're going to, we're going to be doing all the cool specials, all the barbecue, everything I know how to do. I just want to showcase it. Just want to give y'all a chance to be able to replicate this at home and just show you what we do day in and day out. So uh, let's get these chicken wings on and uh, we'll be back. All right, so we are up to 300 degrees and that's a lot of smoke, golly, right in the eye. So we're gonna get our chicken wings put on. Listen to that sizzle. Yes. <coughs> You'd think that running smokers every day, all day, I wouldn't be choked out by smoke, but here we are. Must be getting soft at my old age. Oh, look, I found more chicken wings. Will he be able to get them all on? Of course I will. And I'll tell you a little bit about us later on. We, we've got a video coming, kind of our story and how we got to where we are today and the craziness that goes on with 441 South. So 
I will tell y'all all about that in an upcoming video, but we got the chicken wings on. I'm getting choked out by the cherry wood smoke. Woo. Um, so these are gonna roll. It's gonna pop back up to 300. These are gonna roll for an hour. We're gonna flip them. Then they'll probably go another 45 minutes to an hour and uh, we'll have some nice crispy wings without frying. And uh, they're gonna be full of flavor. I promise you won't regret it. All right, so we've been on about an hour and uh, still rocking right at 300 degrees. I haven't touched it. No need for temp controllers. These things are amazing. They run so good. And, and to, to be honest, so this is the way I look at it is, I'm shooting for 300. So if it goes 325, I'm good. If it goes 275, I'm good. Um, when you're cooking poultry like this, you wanna stay above 250 is my, my rule of thumb on it. But um, 300 on wings is amazing. They've been on about a, is an amazing temp and they've been on about an hour. So it's time to flip them. And I want y'all to see, like you're gonna open them up and you're gonna be like, wow, look at the color on those. Those gotta be getting close to being done. And I just want y'all to see, see they're still spongy. Can you see it? Am I in the camera? Yeah. They're still spongy. They're not quite there yet, but I'm gonna flip them over. We're gonna finish cooking them. And yes, I do it by hand. Who needs a spatula or a uh, set of tongs? They're a little sticky though. Okay, so uh, it's been about another 45 minutes or so. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get these wings off. They look a, they look a, they look a, whatever. They look amazing. Um, I love the crust that these, uh, that this jerk paste puts on them. These wings are going to be amazing. All right, guys. So you can see we got our wings done. I uh, went ahead and. Uh, Put a little flake salt on them just to give them an act, a little added seasoning on the end and uh, just kind of garnished them up with some green onion and uh, they look amazing. Again, tricks to uh, smoking wings, you want to take them to that 203, 205 area, cook them high 275 to 325 area, especially on a Kamado. Um, our pellet grill we've got out there, I do about 275 on it. All sets, I do 250 to 275. So you just want to, you want to content and cook it a little hotter than you would would other things. And um, low and slow doesn't work well on uh, chicken, so uh, so yeah. Anyway, guys, so uh, so yeah. Um, Let's dig in, let's see what they're like. Um, they're gonna have a good good amount of heat on them from the uh, scotch bonnets and the habaneros and... Uh, they are amazing. A little toasty, but... Mmm. It's good, dude. It's real good, G. You want to try two? Yeah, how was it, G? Was it good? Have my taste testers back here. Um, they're not lit on fire yet, so uh, I guess we're doing good. So yeah, so those have got a little heat on them. After chasing the dog down to get the chicken bone away from her. Guys, thank y'all so much for uh, for following along. Um, if you like what you enjoyed today, if you like what you enjoyed. See, I'm telling you, I'm new to this. So, hey, if you enjoyed following along today, hit the like and subscribe button and uh, we'll be able to uh, do this again real soon. That sounds so freaking stupid. We're gonna be doing this again real soon. We're gonna to try to put out a video every week and uh, guys, thank y'all so much again and uh, hope you enjoyed.